Hello, hello, Mariah here, Nifty Thrifty Me on Poshmark. Uh, look at that sunset, you guys, in the background. It's not really coming through on the video, but it was a beautiful sunset here in Minneapolis. And today we are here at the Goodwill. We're gonna do a Thrift With Me video. And if you're new here, I am online clothing reseller, fashion reseller. And I'm coming up on my one year anniversary on Poshmark here on January 1st. And uh, this YouTube channel is brand new, so welcome. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up if you enjoy this kind of thing. Uh, stick around, hit the bell notification for when my next video comes out. We're so excited. Anyways, let's head on in. Okay, here we go. Grabbing a cart here. My first instinct here is to head on straight to the jackets, but oh, wait. This Goodwill has started putting these uh, racks up front. Is your Goodwill doing this? This is often... Um, picks for the day or for the week I'm not sure uh, a lot of designer or new with tags items that they're just putting in the racks right in front of the store I've noticed this all around the Twin Cities and right away I find this really awesome half zip um, or quarter zip Athleta um, dress I actually think it's like a workout it's like a cotton workout dress uh, I go ahead and put that in my cart that was pretty awesome find um, and let's see here. Here we go. This uh, Ava Viv, um, new with tags. I know this is just you know pretty cheap Target here, but I actually grabbed this for me. I wear stuff like this all day long at home, comfy wear, especially in the summertime. So that was fun for five bucks. Why not? Um, browsing here in this cute little red dress. Looking for a tag. Um, Monica, Monaco, I don't know the brand. Maybe you know it. It looked like a boutique brand. Um, I went ahead and passed. Um, that was a cute little polka dot dress. I, I didn't go for it. Here we have a uh, new with tags, Tommy Bahama. Um, I was watching another YouTube channel recently and the woman I was watching picked up a pair of silk Tommy Bahama pants and that's exactly what these are 100% silk $14.99 yes please I'm just gonna chance that I didn't even bother looking up comps um, these pairs of jeans I passed uh, Tommy Hilfiger plus size jeans men's jeans maybe I should have done it I mean they're like $70 brand new uh, I passed I'm really taking a look at these here um, Afer, Eifer, A-I-F-E-R. I've never heard of this brand. I thought it was cute. It's winter here in Minnesota, so not the right time of year. Um, and the material. American Rag, this dress I thought was really cute. I was really second guessing myself here, taking a look at this. I thought it was really pretty. I was like, American Rag, is that something? I'm not sure. I'm still learning brands of course with everybody else and I tend to look up comps a lot still in store but I went ahead and put that back. I did look up comps uh, later on and uh, most things that I've passed on here I do not regret so with that said I'm looking at this little express blouse new with tags. Yeah, I thought it was pretty but I have a couple things of express in my closet now that I just put there so I'll just you know, maybe next time. <clears throat> Moving on here. Arizona jeans. Liz Claiborne. Okay, take two White House Black Market. Okay, here we go. This is a really pretty White House Black Market. New with tags. Has a $160 tag, you guys. Looks like it didn't sell at the Goodwill auction online. And they decided to put it out. Um, I was really tempted to grab this, but it looks like a suit dress uh, or, you know, a, an events dress. And now it's just not the time for that. So I went ahead and passed. Here I am looking at uh, the front glass case and I'm not seeing anything that's really catching my eye at the moment. Um, there is an underwater camera housing case in there if you see it on the second shelf. And the underwater housing cases, depending on the brand, for cameras can be quite expensive because it's you know, a niche thing for photography. Um, 
but I did not grab it. I uh, left it there to think about. I came back to the case later to uh, look at some of the shoes that were in there. All right, and off we go. Passing the Christmas stuff. I really just want to head to the winter jackets because tis the season. Uh, and this is out of place here. This is a uh, super cute um, red poncho. Uh, I went ahead and got it. It's just a mall brand there. I will put it in the haul video that's coming next. This woman's totally in the middle of the aisle. So I moved on to the other side uh, to check these jackets out here. Um, right away, the um, Eileen Fisher green sweater there to the left, but uh, it's pretty old style. Here I'm looking at these Sims snowboard pants. Couldn't tell if they were youth. They look like youth to me, but it says just size small, and they look just look like a women's size small. Sims is uh, not a very popular snowboard brand. However, they've been around a long time, and I do think that they probably make quality clothing. These snowboard pants are definitely in really good shape. They have full zip pockets. They have the frosty crotch zips there, which come in handy on a hot day hot spring day on the chairlifts i'm just looking them over a little dirt there um really interested in buying these curious if people are really skiing this year uh, i used to work in in the ski resorts in colorado so i went ahead and put that in my cart just in case and decided to think about it and would maybe look up comps there later but um here we go just scrolling through Checking out some jackets. Thought that was cute. Meh. Nah, we're passing. Going. This Columbia jacket catches my eye. I did give it a once over um, a few minutes ago. And decided not to go with it. And it wasn't a full. Oh, hello. Hello, Bowden. Hello, friend. Bowden. This is what looks like a red pea coat. It is quite short. I'm sorry I'm not showing the whole thing. Uh, the GoPro is a test. Uh, we move on from the GoPro here to my cell phone camera because the GoPro battery dies, but I didn't quite get the angle right. But for $14.99, I'm you know pretty sure I'm gonna go ahead and grab this uh, beautiful red Bowden pea coat. Adorable. Anyways, I. I'm in love with Bowdoin. I love that they make plus size clothing. I'm a plus size woman myself. Uh, and finding quality clothing can be really hard. So uh, Bowdoin is often a go-to, but a little bit too pricey for me to buy uh, brand new off the website. So I'm just organizing my cart here. Um, this blue jacket is a Nikita jacket. I don't know why it didn't end up getting filmed there but I will have it in the haul. Nikita is a very sought after uh, women's snowboard fashion clothing brand. Uh, she I believe was from Iceland when she started her company. I'm just moving through the dresses here. I'm not going to look at dresses this time around but this caught my eye. I thought it was cute colors, knit sweater and it turns out to be nothing so I'm going to move on to the shoes. This, these shoe racks drive me crazy. Anybody else? All they need to do is angle them a little bit lower and they won't have shoes all over the floor. But no, I think they actually want it to be like this for some reason. They want shoes to just not be able to sit on the shelf at all and be on the floor. But I'm looking up comps right now for those black booties in the top right corner there. I think they're really cute. They're suede. Uh, they look quality, but uh, they turn out to not be much of anything i don't believe i move on pretty quickly here um so many shoes caught my eye this time around and um i have a really hard time at this goodwill with shoes because they like to mark their shoes up um which you'll see in the haul which will be the next video. I did end up picking up a pair of very expensive boots out of the front glass case there on my way out. Um, this was military discount day and I do get a military discount um, because my brother was in the military or is in the military. 
So I always take advantage of Wednesdays here in Minnesota. And I tend to go shopping on Wednesdays. So I'm looking at these. I wanted them to be something they weren't. Um, peeking, peeking. Is there anything? Moving on here. Moving on down the road. Oh, here's a pair of Keens. I really wanted to grab these. The bottoms look like they were barely worn, but from the feel of the insoles inside and from the look of the top of the Keen shoes, they were very, very worn. So Keen must just be doing a good job with their soles. Um, I went ahead and passed. I think they were like $9.99 or something crazy. Um, those look nice, but they're, they're nothing. They're... Uh, I do pick up something here in just a minute. I Let's see. What was it that I grabbed? Let's see if I can catch it. Lots of booties here. Oh, there's a pair of moccasins on the second shelf. Kind of hiding up there. They're brown Minnetonka moccasins. Um, and they're the, the indoor Minnetonka slippers. Which I actually own a pair and I love for colder weather. I think I just eyeballed them and maybe I'm grabbing them now. Um, let's see here. Oh, that's a pair of Sunitas I'm looking at. I just uh, sold a pair of the, not the Sunitas, but the uh, other brand that is very popular, that is very similar. And that's, I'm of course blanking what that is. But I just sold a pair for $20, I think. Oh, I found them. Here we go. The Minnetonka. Um, slippers, I can't read how much they are, I have no idea, I'm pretty sure I got a decent discount because there's no sticker on the fur and they just wrote it on the bottom and I, nobody could read what price that was, so I think she probably gave me a good deal on those, um, I don't remember, I have to look at the receipt, but here I am looking more, there's lots of booties here. Anything down there, nothing that I see. Thought those were cute in the bottom corner, but I put them back. They're very unique looking, whatever they are, with the stitching and the brown leather mules, that's what they are. Wanted these booties to be something, they're not. These are wedge boots, I put those back. Another pair of suede boots. Looking, looking on the hunt, searching for something. Please bring me shoes. I love selling shoes. It's so fun to sell shoes. What girl doesn't love her shoes? These boots look like something, but the strap was broken, so... I quickly put those back down. Searching, searching. Shoes on the floor. <laughs> these boots, I did look up counts on these boots. That's real shirling inside the fur. And you can tell when you touch the fur. They wanted $19.99 for these. I did take a moment to look these up on Poshmark and the resale value is just not there. Anywhere from 15 to I think $20 it was. Um, just not reselling for very much but for the real fur you would think they would be going for more. Don't know if they were vintage but they looked brand new to me. Here I am looking up comps now and um, this brand clearly sells lots of other things because I can't even bring up the shoes. So I quickly am like, cert like, there's a pair of boots. No, no, looking for them, not seeing them. So I start filtering in the bottom right corner there. Really looking for these boots here. <laughs> I really want them to be something, you know, because UGG boots are so expensive and that's definitely the real... Shearling, what do they call the fur on the inside? Shearling, shearing. Um, so here we go, ankle boots and booties, winter boots. 
and I'm pretty sure they're like right here. You can barely see on my phone, but I did eventually see a pair that had sold for not a lot of money, so I moved on. Hopefully I moved on here. I can probably cut this part out of the video because we are a very long video. Okay, look at some boots here. These black, oh, here we go. These are Dolce Vita heel mules. And I think they're so cute. They look practically brand new. Um, you know, even like the sticky tag still stuck to the bottom. I love it when I find shoes like that. Um, they, I do believe they're like a taller heel. They, uh, I don't wear taller heels. They, um, three inches is too much. Anything over two inches for me is too much. All right, we have moved on to the sweater section. I have officially switched to my phone camera because my GoPro battery died. Um, and I actually think that I like it better. I'm able to just hold it steady with one hand while looking um, through the racks and for tags. And you know, we're all really good at that one-handed organizing tag situation that I'm doing here. Here we go. There, this is a merino and alpaca blend um, by J. Crew. I go ahead and put it in my cart. Here we go. I'm not sure about the color. I'm taking a second look at it, trying to decide if somebody washed it correctly. You know how that goes with wool sweaters. Look at that, ugh, ugh. That fake leather just eventually falls apart, doesn't it? We see so much of it in the thrift stores like that. Talbots, Toad and Company. I'm curious about Toad and Company. I'm like, is this horny Toad? I think it is. Um, it was pretty worn, older style. I did pull it out here. I did, oh, wide, the wide angle lens. So we'll remember that for future. I thought it was cute, a little misshapen. So I went ahead and put it back. Um, Forever 21. I tend to like to pick up Forever 21 stuff. I know it's not, you know, the most quality made clothing, but it is very popular and it tends to drive a lot of traffic to my closet. I thought this was a cute chunky knit cropped sweater, but I went ahead and put it back. I'll just think about it. I think it was $9.99. That's why I passed it up. This is really nothing. I wanted it to be something because I thought it was cute and soft. But no, nothing. That was Land's End. Pass that. Searching, searching. Moving on here. That's a Vanilla Bay. I have a Vanilla Bay shirt in my closet that's been there forever. So I'm not pretty sure that's just like a boutique brand. So... Um, I went ahead and passed on it. The limited sweater. I thought that was a really nice um, cream sweater, but I passed just because the limited, I don't think it's, it has a very high resale value. I thought that that shawl was cute um, just from Target. Target does make really nice shawls, um, and this one was in good condition. People love their target brands because they know it fits but uh, I went ahead and passed I already have quite a lot of expensive jackets overpriced jackets $14.99 or higher filling my basket right now so I think I'm being very particular and because I'm filming I'm probably passing up on some stuff Talbots I have a couple Talbots I in my closet at the moment. Um, I haven't really had luck with Talbots. Do you have luck with Talbots? I know a lot of people like to resell Talbots clothing. So beyond threads, I thought it was cute, but the material was very worn. Moving on, I probably should have looked up beyond threads. Do you guys do anything? It sounds like it's something to me, but maybe 
it's not. I thought this was really cute. I have had a little bit of a L.L. Bean uh, thing going on here this fall. Moving into winter. Just loving my L.L. Bean fleeces at the moment. Especially the vintage stuff is so cute. Um, I bought this really long vintage L.L. Bean fleece a while back that I'm absolutely in love with. No regrets, especially as a plus size woman, to find a long fleece like that. Um, it's almost like a dress, you guys. It's so cool. For what, 30 bucks is a score for me. Oh, well, that was cute. Little knit cowl neck sweater. Okay, I am coming up here on something that I probably shouldn't have passed on. I think that's a boutique brand there. I thought it was cute. I pulled it out. It is a long cardigan. Not in love with the color. I don't know. I, I passed. I guess I put it back there. I could have maybe grabbed it. Their sweaters right now are like $8.99, $9.99, so I'm being pretty picky. Hunting, hunting. There's some, definitely some jewels coming up that um, I'm starting to see out of the corner of my eye. Just recognizing the material and I'm getting excited for it. So this is... Um, lot faded glory pass on that as much as it that brand catches my eye do not pick it up um looking here roxy and here we go this you guys is a hundred percent wool francis daunt ireland this is irish wool handmade Thick, itchy, quality, gorgeous. I mean, I don't think anybody's ever worn this. If you do, if somebody were to wear it, you definitely have to layer a nice, soft, comfy shirt underneath it. Probably even like a cowl neck or turtleneck underneath that because, wow, but it is so gorgeous. I cannot pass it up. And then this next one catches my eyes I'm excited to go back and pull it out of there holy moly I am a sucker for this kind of stuff you guys Nuwari handcrafted in Nepal so cute look at this tree of life with fall leaves and wooden buttons I am unsure if these um, knits are poles but it, it they are not poles in the sweater there that is a part of the design there is another pocket on the sleeve with another wooden button on there. This is just Hippie Wear 101. Never pass up items like this. They are jewels. It's adorable. It will sell. We are selling, you know, either modern, um, unique, uh, or um, often nostalgia. And this checks off two out of three of those on my list um for me so that was exciting that that definitely is coming home with me all right we are gonna just i think head to the other side here which is the size mediums um and give it another go here this is probably something i should have grabbed this is eileen fisher open front cardigan with the buttons but I just felt like I, I don't know for only I think it was $8.99 or $9.99 I didn't, I didn't see the tag there I just felt like it was just a little dated for the style which is maybe why I passed it up um but I don't have any Eileen Fisher in my closet and I know people have really good luck with it you guys let me know would you have picked up that Eileen Fisher and how much would you have listed it for? Let me know down in the comments below because maybe I'll go back and go hunting for it. Um, right now I'm looking at this really worn Athleta um, zip up sweater and I passed on it as much as I wanted to keep it. I even went back for a second look. Um, it was just in really bad condition. That was really soft. 
So it caught my eye, but it's not, nothing. It's American Eagle. That was not pass on that. This J. Crew wool sweater caught my eye, but clearly somebody put that in the dryer. Boo. So we passed on that. I think you can reshape wool, but that one was really tight. Like that was not washed properly. It makes me sad. This is an another LL Bean. I thought it was super cute. The colors was was cute, but for $9.99, I said no. Definitely would pick that up at the bins um, or for five or six dollars, but not for ten. This is an express mohair. So soft. It looks like it's new with tags or the tags are missing but it has the string there i don't think it was ever worn like you can tell when these kinds of sweaters have been worn um but uh i do have some express in my closet right now so i think i went ahead and left this too would you guys have picked this up it i know it's so it's like a, a shorter not quite crop um trying to see if it's like what the material is exactly and i can't quite read it Sometimes it says maybe it's just acrylic, but sometimes stuff is alpaca or rabbit, and I couldn't quite make that out, so I passed. Here we go. We have uh, BB Dakota, open front cardigan, and um, super cute in really good condition. That little Aztec type um, print. I went ahead and grabbed that in my cart 100%. Um, coming home with me. This free people, I love finding free people, whether it's older. I know it doesn't wear very well over time. This was very thin. At first I thought maybe it was intimately free people, but it doesn't have the intimately tag. Um, it's very see-through, very thin, and it, I'm looking it over, trying to decide if it's something I can clean up and resell. It has so many little snags and pulls all through it even on the lace on the bottom there's just strings hanging everywhere um maybe it would have been worth it to try to clean up but oh i was unsure it's so pretty though i love finding sweaters like this or throws for those cooler summer nights or warmer when warmer spring days you know when it starts to get into summertime there and you're still carrying a sweater these are perfect for that but oh I'm like what do I do okay in my cart we'll decide later better to just grab it than leave it behind and then miss out if you decided to, that you wanted it later you have to go hunt it down and it's gone so we'll just put it in the cart there so we're coming to pretty close to the end of this um, sweater rack here and uh, my arm is starting to get sore from holding the camera but quick just going through is there anything else the good stuff is always right at the end am I right or am I right it's always like if you don't finish you'll never know so you have to finish the rack to see if there's anything special hiding at the end there that somebody decided they didn't want and just threw on the end um if it was in somebody's cart and somebody wanted it then you know somebody else is gonna want it too this is adorable this is grandma handmade somebody handmade this no tags it's super soft don't think it was ever worn by anybody it's a matching sweater and uh, skirt set and it's just adorable I left it there $4.99 but um, fun find of the day right there fun find of the day for sure look in here just a few items left what is this I don't know the tag looks like something but it's not anything this was cute um, I wanted it to be something maybe it's moth I, I didn't quite catch it this is lucky brand there's a 9.99 for this lucky brand would you guys have grabbed this um, there was a little bit of pulling in the net that I will just would have just tied off and snipped um, and fixed up and um, then disclose and listed and photographed it is really cute um, but it looked like again like it was maybe not washed properly but I could have maybe fixed that with a wash and lay dry myself <clears throat> I'm pulling lint off of it 
and pulls and I don't know I'm not quite would you have picked this lucky brand sweater up it's pretty thick I should probably go back and look for it I I left it there I left it behind so we are coming to an end here and I think I'm getting ready to call it a night well thanks for coming along guys I hope you enjoyed that trip into Goodwill I did spend about $121. Uh, tomorrow I will do a haul video for you uh, so that you can see what I got and what I passed up on. Um, if you enjoyed this video, you make sure to give it a like. Comment down below if I missed anything that you would have purchased. I'd be curious what that item is. Um, There's quite a few things I felt like I probably would have maybe picked up if I wasn't filming. And I did have to switch from my GoPro to my phone there halfway through because my GoPro battery died. So next time we'll get better at that but uh anyways it was a fun trip unexpected not my favorite goodwill in the cities and uh overall did pretty good and it was busy today a lot of cars in the parking lot when i pulled up so um just goes to show you never know and uh i'm so glad that you came along with me thank you so much for watching this video um it, you know hope you stick around click the the like button and uh the little bell notification and um please subscribe if you uh enjoyed this and you would like to see more. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.